Hello and welcome back. Let's talk today about a couple of things to do for people pictures. This is Bobby and Lloyd on their wedding day. The church handily was just across from the J.C. Nichols Fountain at the plaza. Well, there's a couple of things that I wanted to do. We wanted some of the ambiance of the location, but we still want to focus on the wedding couple more than we do backgrounds. Just a quick thing that uh, I did in the final print. There's some trash on the ground, and we took that out with a little clone stamp action. And did a few other minor things. There's some trash down here that could be taken out. And so forth. Now there's a little bit too much dead space around them, so naturally we're going to use the crop tool a bit. We'll try to think about the final print, though we're not going to crop out as severely as we might otherwise. The next item on the agenda was that Bobby felt like she was a bit too chunky, wanted to look a little thinner. So let's go to the filter menu to distort and to liquefy. Once we get over into this dialog, I'm going to bring up the percentage of view a bit. We can use the hand tool here to move things around. And what we're going to concentrate on is the booty area. You can see that we're going to pick the top tool and go ahead and leave the defaults alone. And we're just basically going to push in a little bit here. You know, so that we're moving also the adjacent parts of the water but nobody knows what that water pattern looks like anyway. In this instance it's okay but you do have to be a little careful in using this. Now we've got her thinned down quite a bit so we're going to click OK. And now we want to pull in to the couple using a vignette. Many times you'll see either a light or a dark vignette in wedding photographs, occasionally some color. But let's see what this looks like with, with both white and black vignettes. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the rectangular marquee tool and draw a selection. Next I'm going to go up to the select menu and select feather. Since this is a high res photograph I'm going to start out with a value of 150 pixels. That's a good starting out point. The higher the number, the more gradation that you see in your vignette. It's a trial and error situation uh, at all times, but this is a good place to start out. You know, okay, you notice when I did that it also round cornered the rectangular area. I'm going to go back to the select menu and click inverse. I'm going to set the background color or make sure that the background color here is set to white. And then I'm just going to simply hit the backspace key. 
Control D to deselect, and there you have a nice high key vignette. If I had a picture, if I thought this one would look better with a dark vignette, I'm just going to undo this. set my background color to black and hit backspace and there you have it have fun with vignetting and the liquify filter and we'll talk to you next time goodbye